Humans are unique in their capacity to determine their fate. Even now, they are at liberty to choose a different path. I think we're in a very, very dark place. You know, I don't like to think that Gaia will shrug us off this awful wasted experiment. We're on a finite planet. We're already overshooting what the planet produces in terms of its biological productivity. So what we're doing is we're strip mining the future of our children. It's clear we're in a climate emergency. There's an imperative to try and tackle this. It's going to have dire consequences for future generations if we don't. I think people in the world today recognize the environment is in trouble. Things are going in the wrong direction. Not so many people know what they can actually do to make a positive difference. The environment of Upland, Scotland, was a wasteland created by humans. If the decline of the pine forest continued, there could be certain species that could be lost from Scotland anyway, such as, you know, crossbill, black grouse or capercaillie, etc. If it was left for 50 or 60 years, it would be too late. These old trees would all have gone. The seed source would have vanished. When I saw this, I realized that we were the last generation that could save this forest. There's no such thing as stasis in nature. You're never trying to get back to conserving one thing. All of these myriad different microhabitats open up and close and open and close and change and transmogrify. That's what rewilding is. That word, rewilding, has galvanised other people's thinking about getting this done. I don't think there's anybody that is unable to make a contribution to this. Everyone has to take personal responsibility. Sometimes it's just a small change of behaviour that can make a real difference. Noticing the nature around us is an act of empowerment and even political resistance. Diplomacy and tact are important, but so are campaigning and calling out governments when they get it wrong. You never know where help is going to come from. You never know that it is the right moment to despair because actually there could be something just around the corner that you could not possibly foresee. I think it's awfully easy to feel overwhelmed and I think that it's really important to give people hope. I choose to live in hope. You have to live in hope because that's what generates our actions. There's good and bad in people. And what we have to do is to mobilize the good and discourage the bad. The forces of society are exploiting the last untouched forests. Rewilding and restoring needs to happen all over the planet. If you have any kind of compassion for other people, you should pass on the world in no worse a state than which you received it. Not to do so it seems to me extraordinarily selfish. I will never see the trees that I've planted reach maturity, but planting a tree like a Scots pine is a gift to the future. The wind is behind the restoration of nature, and we need to encourage all young people to get on and do it when there is still time to save the planet.